This is a publication I made in 2013. It is a series of meditations on E.F. Schumacher as a guide for the perplexed. In truth, it is a book about the art of discipleship. And the best way to talk about that art is by way of a story. There was once a man who lived in the village at the center of his country miles from the sea. He had never traveled beyond his village. He had met no one who had spoken of the ocean. He had no images of it. There was no World Wide Web to search for it. But then one day a stranger came into his village began to describe to this man what the ocean looked like. And interestingly, what this man did was to try and translate what this stranger was telling him into a language and context that he understood. So he took that stranger to a well in the center of his village and said, is it as deep as this well, your ocean? The stranger said, no, deeper. He took him out to a salt lake at the edge of the village and said, is it as vast as this salt lake? And the stranger said, no, it's vaster. It's not like this at all. And the, stranger, and the villager took the stranger to his river, flowed through the village, and said, does your tide ebb and flow like the current of this river? He said, no, it is different. And so it went. And this villager even began to quarrel with his neighbor went to war with him as they disagreed about what colour the stranger had said the ocean was. One said it was dark green, one said deep blue. And so it goes. And this is the story of human history. Someone comes into our land bringing something new, something unknown. And rather than hearing it from their point of view, we dilute, we distort, we translate what they tell us based on where we are standing on this side of the side of the shore. This has been true throughout human history. Every teacher who has gone beyond and brought back something that could evolve the human race has always had that challenge of knowing what he is bringing is going to be misunderstood, not fully heard. But in his compassion, the teacher, the master, will always come to try and offer his invitation in the hope that one day someone will come hear that teaching about the ocean and says instantly, take me there, take me there now. And when that moment happens, the question then becomes of how do I 
Then follow where the master is pointing. In search of the ocean. And that is where the art of discipleship comes in. Now I applied the ancient Christian contemplative practice of meditoxia in preparing this publication. Now what that contemplative practice involves is first finding a teacher, a master who you can trust, who you believe has gone beyond has discovered something new, rich. That ocean, it's truth, love, understanding. And then you try and read that piece of literature that they might have produced from their understanding. Try and read it from a place of reaching, trying to reach for where they were writing from. Not reading it from what you may know and understand. Not trying to translate their words. Constantly reaching for understanding. Reaching to be adequate to the teaching as a disciple. So you sit in meditation on those words day in, day out in the hope that understanding will flower as you build relationship with your teacher. Now my teacher was E.F. Schumacher his book, A Guide for the Perplexed. But in truth, this publication is not trying to tell you to choose him. We all must find the guide that speaks to us. Nor is my publication trying to offer you any insightful fruit that came from my period of contemplation on his book that served me well but I'm not trying to say that my reflections are powerful for you what I'm trying to do with this publication Merely to illuminate and satisfy my own curiosity what the art of discipleship is all about. So I sat for 40 days, an hour a day, a piece of text, and I just meditated and wrote what came. The process was very rich and powerful in my journey. And I offer it to you to try for yourself. And one day, if you're very fortunate, as you try and track your master and head towards the ocean, one day you may reach the shore and get a glimpse of that ocean that he was talking about. <laughs>